Hello my magical friends, I'm so glad you're here with me today. It's Marguerite Berg, I'm the hostess of Awaken Magic and I have been a spiritual teacher for over 20 years. The magic has been weaving in and out of my life many times. I've brought it forth and then gone back into hiding. Have you ever been told that you're hiding your light under a bushel? Or do you just feel that? And why do you think that is? Is that procrastination? That resistance that comes up? That fear? Have you ever been on your knees and just said, you know, bless me into usefulness? I know I have gifts. Maybe I, I don't know what they are right now, but I can't seem to move forward. I've been there. I've been there and I know how painful it is when you have so much that you want to give and you're stuck. You're stuck. You don't know why you're stuck. Perhaps we're waiting for the right conditions. You know, we, we have to have uh, our children raised or we have to have the money. Or we have to, you know, feel like we need more education. So all those resistances you know I I really can relate and for me I'm standing before you right now as a survivor of almost dying twice in the last three years one time uh, was three years ago and my partner had a breakdown and it was really from a witch wound all his fears came to the surface. He had been subjected to horror movies from the age of 7 to about 14. And it all came up. And he, in his delusional state, he started choking me and calling me a witch. So that shut me right down. And I couldn't, you know, I couldn't speak at all. And really what I want to support you with is... I just had a suitcase. Uh, we had just come from living in BC to Ontario because his dad was dying. So we're, I was only here for a week. And, and then he went into the hospital. And for me, it was, yeah, um, the most humbling time. The, the most fear I've ever been through. And the fear of, of losing everything. And I did. And what happened for me was so humbling that I had to be willing to just let go. Just let go and allow the divine to come through me. You see, in 1995, Mother Mary came to me and filled me with such love. I've never felt love like that from a human being. And it was grace that came down. And what happened was I found a tool and it's, it's a cosmic breathing and, I, and I've dubbed it the love breath. And I don't know if you've heard this, but I, I heard this one time from someone and I can't recall who. And they said, the day you were born, your purpose was placed in your heart. And so even when you know what your purpose is, there's still that courage to go for it. So that's what I want to do. I am going to give you this energetic tool so you don't have to rely on someone else to raise your vibration. You can use this yourself. And I, I'm going to be offering this video series on three ways to build your magical muscle so you can have more magical moments, be in the synchronicity, be in the flow, so you're taking steps towards what your purpose is and even if you don't know what it is right now you're gonna you're gonna be in this vibration of love which is the only one that has brought me to the, the feelings that I got from my mother Mary just washed and bathed me in the love so please if you really want to go deep and contribute your gifts your talents in a much bigger way place your name and email on the side and you'll be sent the first video 
and in there I'll share a bit more of my story and one of the, the, the biggest tools that I'm still using today to really shift energetically before we even start on this love breath in the second video. So I hope to see you on the other side. I look so forward to serving you in a bigger, bigger way. Mwah. Big love. Bye now.